Good morning, sunshines. I am live early, so I will give it a little extra time just in case there are some early birds with me. I wasn't going to do any more videos until after conference, but I needed to get started on my uh, Moscow Mule mugs. So, let's share, copy the link, and share to a groups, chop box, Ken's Creations, VIP Chalkers. Ooh, and I have somebody, yay. Who's an early bird? Ooh, Miss Olivia Tooley. I knew that she was an early bird, absolutely. Let me also get this onto my business page before we get started this morning. Or not. Yay, Joanne Lee's an early bird. I think I knew that too. There's Miss Lana. So I wasn't going to do a chalk tour video early or at all because I'm getting ready for my team for conference and I wanted to get things all wrapped up and get going because we're going to get, uh, shh, don't tell anyone, we're going to get like 100 new products for the autumn and the winter and holidays and so... We get um, a little early access to that. But I love, love, love this little transfer set. It's called um, Explore More. They're just cute little sayings. Um, and this is our B-size transfer. You can get this at the chalkbox by Victoria.com. Good morning, sunshines. Hello, Nikki. Nikki and Lana are both going to be um, at convention with me, too. So... So I have eight of these colored Moscow Mule mugs that I got at um, Sam's Club. My aunt actually went and got them for me. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, grab a cup of coffee, Miss Olivia. Enjoy. I know it's so early. Hello, Cheryl. It's early because I'm an early bird anyways. That must be a sign of me getting old. I'm gonna hit the farmer's market and I wasn't gonna do another live, but I've been wanting to get these Moscow Mule mugs for gifts. And you guys know that's all I've been doing in um, June is making gifts because I found, I'm gonna, I've got these little cock and bull um, ginger beer cans, 140 calories per can. Because I hear the only way to make a Moscow Mule is with cock and bull and Tito's vodka. So I got these little mini vodka bottles and I'm going to put them inside the decorated mugs I make for people. And have little gifts. Maybe I'm going to have a 3rd of July because here in Butte, on the 3rd of July, we, they have a huge, huge fireworks show. One of the best I've ever seen besides like Disneyland and Disney World, right? And they have it right on the hill in front of my new house. So, oh goodness, drink a protein shake or something, Olivia. So, I'm going to have a barbecue the first year in my house, I hope. And I might have little gifties. And these shall be it. But I'm also going camping directly after... Um, directly after before 4th of July and directly after convention next week. Um, so um, my little guests might be Cullen's Nana and Papa and them. They might want a Moscow Mule mug. I know Papa probably doesn't care if he gets a Moscow Mule mug, but I think Nana would like one. So let's see what we can do. We're gonna open up these cool colored mugs. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, Kevin. I haven't seen Kevin since we were in high school and we were on the golf team together. And I know he's pretty active still. I see the pictures, so I'm sure he's gone out and had some good golf games. 
my son is getting, I'm getting him a pro at six years old. I don't think I've started early enough yet because I need my little partner to golf with me. So these are the stainless steel Moscow Mule mugs. Keeps your drinks at the temperature that you want them in. So I'm just gonna do some quick little projects. I have one already open of this um, Explore More. And instead of the chalk paste that we originally started with in July of last year, 2017, when this company started, um, I'm gonna use our Couture inks that came out in February. I love these inks. I love paste, but I'm loving, loving the inks. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead, use the silk screens again, um, and put an image on here. These silk screens are reusable, so I'll wash them. You can use the ink several, several times because a little goes a long ways. And then I'm gonna dry these out just on the desk or somewhere for 24 to 48 hours. And then I'll bake them in the oven at 350 degrees for 30 minutes and the ink will become permanent. It'll set permanently um, so that you have that image. So. Our chalk paste are not permanent. You can wipe those off. And our inks can be permanent once they're heat set. And the inks can go on fabric, metal, glass, anything that can withstand a dishwasher or an oven that are oven safe. Um, and also the fabrics because I use an iron or an easy press to heat set them. Okay, and then the chalks, if you haven't watched the chalks, you, they harden within 15 minutes. You can't wipe it off. But if you just take a little spray bottle of water, then you can, in a microfiber towel, you can easily wipe them off and do them over and over again with the season that you're in. So that is why I love, love, love this company. Make sure and check out the chalkboxbyvictoria.com. You can shop or you can join on my website there. You can shop on my business page. It'll direct you to the website as well. Make sure and use Google Chrome when you go out to my website, especially if you plan to join. Our pro, uh, it works easier with Google Chrome for some reason, our program. Um, it's $99 to join. You get $250 worth of product. That's chalkboards, surfaces, um, five, I think, of the transfers, different sizes, and um, five of the large jars of our chalk paste. So that is totally worth it. And then for every project you wanna do after that wasn't in the kit, you get a 40% wholesale discount. Okay, so now that I did house cleanup and reminded you guys of all the great stuff that I have available to me, I think you guys, if you wanna get involved, tell me which ones you guys want me to use on the, on the chalks and we'll get started. So I think I will help you more since this is the Explore More um, transfer. I think I'm gonna cut the little trees and the explore more first, and we'll do that one. The one that's cut off is a cute little VW van um, in the mountains, basically going on an adventure. So um, I've used it for cards on paper, so that's kind of what I was doing there. Explore more, I think I'm gonna put on the white mug first. And all you do after you cut the area that you want off of your transfer, you can use these transfers whole as well, is you just place them on your mug. And because this is such a smooth surface, I'm gonna want to fuzz this out so it doesn't have quite a stickiness when I'm ready to pull it off. I'm not as worried with inks because they do not dry as quickly as, um, as my chalk paste does. So I can do that. That's why we're giving it 24 hours in the regular air to dry out. So I'm not that worried. Um, but I do want to make sure when in doubt, rub all of this out so we get that. See the white below it? That's the um, silk screen itself that the pattern's going through. Um, I want to get all the bubbles out of there so I can have a perfect image. And sometimes it's harder on a curved surface, so I'm just taking a cut up little squeegee to rub that on. Believe it or not, today I have painter's tape. I usually never do, I'm a messy crafter when I do. So, actually I don't want it that way. 
So what I want to do is I want to go around, especially when I'm doing fabric, I want to go around the um, actual transfer with the painter's tape because if you get the ink or anything um, kind of messy or over it when you're swiping, you want to be able to just easily take that painter's tape off and not have it go beyond the image. It just is a cleaner look when you're done. So that's why I'm doing that. I tell you guys this all the time and then I never have the painter's tape on my chalk box table. So let's just get that done this time so you guys can see what I mean by that. So does everybody have big plans for the weekend? It's kind of rainy here in Butte, Montana, Butte, America, but I'm still going to that farmer's market because they have something called pho, I believe, P-H-O, Vietnamese kind of dish truck there that's not out every weekend, and I've been wanting to try it. So, of course, it has to do with food, right, for me? I'm going to use our um, green ink here. Um, for the trees and then I'm going to use our white. Oh, no, we're on a white mug. So How about I use our midnight sky? So we'll do dark colors on this one So yes, I'm going camping so I'm going to Utah on I leave Thursday at 5 o'clock in the morning to go to Utah for our national convention and um, and I'm really excited because since we started July 1st this is going to be our first national convention in February we had um, our first leadership and I was there too so I have 41 people on the team 42 counting me so the stars are pretty big and they're just growing bigger. This is kind of a crafting phenomenon right now and I'm loving it. So you just need a little tiny bit of the ink. That's why I'm using the blue just straight from the top. And I like to work from the bottom up and just really rub over the white areas of the silk screen transfer so you get a good ink. But you don't want that ink to be too wet so that's why I only do a little at a time because that ink, um, you'll just be wasting it really. So that's why you don't want it too wet because you just need a little dab over all the white areas and then you're good. Now you usually see me working super fast when I have um, a paste project because chalk paste dries pretty the start of the dry pretty quickly and then you don't get a really nice um, image if it starts to dry so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna get another squeegee for my green and I'm gonna do the trees now I added a little more there not on purpose but um, just because and that's okay because I taped the painters tape off so if I rub farther than the image, we're going to be good. It's still going to be a perfect transfer, basically, onto the Moscow Mule Mug. So I just make sure that all that white space is completely covered with ink. And then when I'm done with this, I'm going to go ahead and um, wash that little transfer so I can use it multiple times over and over again. And that literally is why I fell in love with this and got in the first month was because I thought of all the inexpensive but very classy gift ideas that I wanted to make for people. And I'm in my 11th month now. So in July, July 31st is when I started. Um, It'll be one year, and I am going to do, and this is still pretty sticky even though I fuzzed it, but there's that image. And you can see when it's too wet, you can see a little bit there when it's too wet that the tree kind of got bigger, but um, or bushier is what I'll say, but it still looks really good. I'm going to let that dry for 24 to 48 hours in the air, and then I'm going to bake it.
So let's go on to the next one. Does anybody see an image that you'd like to have see on a different mug? Um, oh yes, let me let me finish this one. So I'm gonna just wash this with cool water, let it dry, and put the sticky part on the shiny paper backing um, back on so I can use it again. I should finish my sentences, right? So I love get let's get lost. I would probably do that all in one color. I love happy camper. I really like them all. This is just a fun, fun, fun. You wanna do let's get lost, Nikki? Let's do it. Is there a particular colored mug you wanna do it on, Nikki? Can you guys see like how addicting this could be? It's just, you know, you don't have to think about a lot of things. The images are already created for you. And I'm, I'm a crafter, but I am not creative. That is not something that I am. So, um, so I love that it's kind of set there. I don't have to think about it. I am totally taking this in my camper with my um, video. I don't even know if I actually am going to have cell service at the lake um, because we are kind of in the mountains too, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to make some videos of some projects I've been wanting to make because my nine to five job, Monday through Friday, I can't always do that in the daytime. Most of the time I can't. So when I'm camping and I'm not on the boat, I'm just gonna go for it. Look, I wrote, I did, yes, say, say yes to new adventures. But I know Nikki wants to do Let's Get Lost. So let me re, let me cut that one too. Nikki says, let's get lost with the turquoise. Loving it. Because Nikki's getting ready for convention. Yes, she is. Turquoise or like a Tiffany blue is kind of our colors with Chalk Couture. So. So I think we're slightly addicted. Can you see our silk screens actually are our color? So it blends in with this mug pretty well. I think I'm gonna do this one all one colors because it is so many things. So I'll put, I'll do white or Nikki. Do we want to do the bubble gum pink? Do we want this to be a girly girly mug? Let's get lost. I will tell you this is so intricate that you really want to make sure that you put this down and there are no bubbles. And so the best way to do that, you guys cannot see me, I'm sure, is to do it with our silicone squeegees a little at a time. Just kind of pull on a curved surface and really kind of bubble it out. Because you will get, if you get bubbles in there and the bottom is really not going smooth, if you get bubbles in there, then um, then it doesn't work out as well. For some reason, my iPad where I watch the screen to make sure we're doing okay, um, just kind of went berserk. So let me get back to you guys. So I'm getting all these bubbles out. Oh, Nikki says yes, pink. How did I know that? That might be her favorite color. Just might be, so. I'll make it girly. So this is, oh no, I'm sorry, this is coral. I called it pink or I called it bubble gum. Our paste is actually, um, our, our pink colored beautiful paste is actually um, bubble gum. So this is coral. So it's not like a bright pink, which this is Nikki's favorite color, but it by far pink is not my favorite color. But a hot pink, I do like a hot pink once in a while. I'm not a girly girl, that's why. I've always kind of been a tomboy slash once in a while girly girl kind of thing. But somebody is gonna need a turquoise mug with a pink saying on it that likes the best of both worlds. 
I'm a camper and a golfer and a skier. Um, I don't like to shop in stores. I do like to shop online though, so don't worry. I still have a little bit of an addiction. Green is my favorite color. See, are you guys writing a book about Victoria? Because I'm giving you all the info. I knew that I would I was destined to be a mother to a boy. Starting out with my um, stepsons who are all grown up, all boys. But then when I was blessed with my miracle child, I got another boy. I just don't think I could have ever handled another me. That's all I'm going to say there. So, but I love other people's girls, absolutely. Okay, do you guys see how I'm so used to not doing this? with um, the painter's tape and I have painter's tape right here ready to go so make sure that when you're going out there and shopping on my website and getting your ink go ahead and put get some painter's tape for your projects too it just you just make sure that you get a nice clean um, transfer on so look how cute that is, Nikki. With I love this color on here. And I just told you guys I wasn't a girly girl, but I love, love, love this color. And I really, like I said, this is my 11 months in and the magic of pulling off the transfer and how easy this is that I can create gifts in minutes, I can't get over it. I'm still excited. I get this, the little girly screams, absolutely. So I will wash this transfer in cool water. I like to take a little magic eraser on the non-sticky side to get as much color off of there, off the blue as possible. It doesn't hurt the blue, so don't worry about that. Um, it just goes through that silk screen area, okay? So I'm gonna wash that up too, but so far our Moscow Mule set, for you early sunshine birds, we've got two so far. I love, love, love it. What do you think? Loving it. So we got two more mugs, right? I actually have eight mugs to do, I'm not gonna lie. We'll see how interactive you guys get and see if we're going to stay, stay focused. So let's do my favorite color. Let's do my lime green and let's do say yes to new adventures because I'm going to drink out of this particular mug when I'm camping, maybe when I'm at convention. And since it's my favorite color and since I said yes to this amazing new adventure called Chocotour, I think this is the perfect one for me. So are any of you about ready to say yes? You really should, even just to try out that kit, it's so worth it, but quite honestly, that was my intent, was to try out that kit for $99, and before I even got the kit, which you get within a week, here in Montana, we got, like, I did literally get it the next week, I already had people signed up, because I was addicted to the YouTube videos. And the bunch of ladies and men that are in this amazing business, they're just so fun to watch. They are so helpful. They give out their ideas and their tips always. And I love it. They come on to my lives for sure a lot, and I appreciate that. I go on to theirs, and we just we love to see um, all the creativeness that everybody has. And I will tell you, I am the... First person to say I am a chalk lifter big time because I'm not as creative as other people in their photography eyes, their artistic eyes. I'm just I'm just amazed of the people that I get to hang out with in this company. So say yes to the adventure for $99. Go on Google Chrome, go out to my website, the chalkboxbyvictoria.com. And make sure when you're inking on a circus surface like this that you just, when in doubt, rub it all out and get those bubbles away from that clear silk screen area, right? So, I haven't done white yet. I really like white, the contrast of white, even though this is, ooh, you know what? I don't think, I have done black ink. So I don't know that I'm going to go there, but maybe I need something glittery and fun. Okay, help out. Should I do white 
or should I do silver sparkly glitter? You guys tell me. Or should I do my sea hot colors and do my blue? Oh my gosh, I think I might just trump anybody. I think I'm gonna do my sea hot colors because you know I'm addicted to my my guys, my football team. So I'm just gonna take a tiny little bit, and I promise I'll let you guys think about what color I should do with this one. I could have done a couple colors and I was thinking about it with this one because this is an easy transfer to do different colors on the letters. But then I remembered my Seahawks. I'm going to Seattle in July and probably then again um, during the Puyallup Fair in September. So, but when I go to Seattle in July to see my um, my father and um, my stepmother's family, they always have a reunion that's amazing for the whole family and I love it. Um, I know some Seahawk fans, I might have to make them some, some Seahawk mugs of some sort. So this is just gave me another idea. Um, silver on the blue mug, how about Nikki? Because I kinda went off on a little tangent there. Here's the magic, there's the magic. This is my new camping mug. Look at it. I love it. Love, love, love it. Oh my gosh, this is so easy and fun. Even at seven, it's eight in the morning now, right? Okay. So I'll wash this with cold water again. I'm just, I like to repeat so you guys remember how easy it's done and how forgiving and easy it is to fix a mistake if you, if you see one. Okay. Um, especially before it's heat set. So here is the last two mugs I made. I've made three so far out of the four set, four mug set. So Nikki says silver. And I think, I think Nana might like a happy camper. So let's do silver and blue for Nana. Okay, so this is Happy Camper. We're gonna work on the blue mug. Like I don't wanna stop chalking now. I know that there is something else I wanna make today. I'm trying to think of what that was. But there is something. I probably should get down to the farmer's market, right? Okay, so remember, and you know what I haven't been doing? I have not been fuzzing this up, which this is not a good shirt to fuzz on because it's pretty smooth already. It's a different material than cotton. But if you fuzz the back of your transfer, then hopefully it's not gonna be as sticky because when it's on a smooth surface like that, oh yeah, it's only seven there. You're right, Nikki, you see how early it is? Oh, but you know what? I still have a few ver uh, um, visitors, so. Thank you all. Good morning, sunshines. I don't have any sunshine out here right now. I um, It's raining here, which my flowers are happy. But next week it's gonna start being summer, they say, they predict the weather people. And I hope it's true and it stays that way when I'm camping because I have literally gotten no sun on my legs and Yes, as soon as I'm done here, son, we'll go and get you a donut. Oh, goodness, it's Saturday morning, and he, um, my son is six, and he really wants to enjoy his home day with mama. So, donuts for him it is before the farmer's market. Okay, Nikki said silver, which I think is going to be beautiful on this blue mug. Okay, I rubbed out that silk screen transfer um, around the curve. I like to work from the bottom up, so I shouldn't start it anywhere else. I once again should have put that painter's tape on. It's sitting right here, so don't try this at home. 
without adult supervision and I am not included as an adult because I forget these things sometimes. I see one bubble that I missed, so I'm going to pray that this one turns out. But how easy it would be, if it doesn't, for me to just go ahead and wipe that off and start again. Okay, magic, drum roll please. Oh my gosh, look at that, silver, and it worked. Yay, so I won't show you guys how to just wipe it off and start over again if you do make a mistake, but easily, and I wish, I'm gonna try to bring my light closer and see if that will shine on the silver for you guys. You can see, if you can see the glimmer, that's too glary, but if you can see that, oh my gosh. It is so sparkly that you don't even have to add gemstones. Happy camper. I think Nana's gonna like her Moscow Mule mug. Yay. Perfect. So let me move my inks out of the way. I'll have to clean those all up once the beautiful magic of the camera is not here. I've got some little ink spots that I uh, want to clean up with this. Paper towel, baby wipes are my favorite. Believe it or not, I do not have the baby wipes right here next to me like I normally do. So I remembered the painter's tape, but I forgot the baby wipes. So, let's see where we're at here. We got Victoria's mug, Nana's mug, right? Let's move those up a little bit. Hello, Andy, I miss your face off. Andy's my buddy in Great Falls. We get into trouble together, but not too much trouble. I think he's been being a good boy though. So, here we go. All four mugs. Can you see this beautiful Moscow Mule set? Loving it. It took minutes to do all four mugs. I'm gonna let them sit out for 24 hours to air dry. And then I will, 24 to 48 really, but, um, and then I will go ahead and put them in a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. And I'll set them in a cool oven, set it to 350, and um, time it for 30 minutes. And then I'll just turn off the oven and let them cool in there too. And these will be heat set, so you can throw them in the dishwasher, you can hand wash them. As long as your mugs are dishwasher safe, then you're good to go. Come on now, don't you love Chalk Couture? I can't be the only person out there that's crazy for this. Hello, Graham Cracker, you missed it. I'm getting jiggy with it. So literally, let me open up. I've got the Tito's Vodka that I'm gonna put in here for little gifts, right? Because a true Moscow Mule is with Tito's, is what I hear. I love a lot of lime in my summer drink, so that excites me. And I've got the cock and bull little cans of um, ginger beer and literally, and limes, but literally these cock and bulls will fit inside of the mug, see? So that is just gonna be a stinking cute gift. I'll put some paper on there so it can sit up. And listen, if you don't know how to make a Moscow Mule, the directions are right on the cock and bull. So I think in my next form, hi Janice, I might have to make, I don't have a bull, but I do have a heifer. I do have a rooster. I might have to do that. I just might have to. And then you can put your little Tito's vodka in there too. Well, somehow I will attach it so the Tito's vodka is like this. And you know me, I can do, I can get my ribbon and my tissue paper craft on, so I'll be doing it. Let's turn it around this way and hopefully not drop it so everyone can see the Nikki pink and turquoise mug. Love it. Okay guys, come and see me again. I'm, I'm not quite sure, I don't have anything planned for a live right now. Like I said, I'm getting ready for um, our national convention. 
but I cannot wait. Ooh, hot glue. Look at you, Trish, my graham cracker. So I'm getting ready for convention, and um, you never know when I'm going to get on. But um, thanks for joining. I've been wanting to do these Moscow Mules. i got four more to do, so come check me out again when I'm ready to get crazy with it. Oh, hi, Naki. I love you, Naki. I miss you. I know that you and Jorge would love to sip some Moscow Mules with me with these little mugs, these little bad boys. So, um, fly into Montana. American Airlines does come in nowadays. So fly into Montana and I'll pick you boys up. Let's have some fun together. Okay, guys. Remember, go out to the chalkboxbyvictoria.com. You can shop for any of these transfers, any of these inks and chalk paste. Use Google Chrome and join my team. You'll be a part of the stars. And, um and you'll never regret it. $99 for $250 worth of product and 40% off. Be a wholesaler, get into a craft hobby. Uh, let's do Christmas in July. Let's start getting ready early. You can make fun gifts. Okay guys, see you later. Have a good day. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.